Hey you guys. So today I'm going to do Virgo. I'm going to do you today Virgo and Virgo you are all about the digestive tract and if you're someone that has a lot of hernias you need to make sure to go get that checked at the doctor because I'm telling you right now my old man has a giant hernia and it's and it's and it's it's this big around you all from this hand to this hand it, it's huge and it looks like it's about to bust his guts so that's why i'm mentioning this and you know i don't want nothing to happen to my old man you know he he's did a lot for me we've been through a lot of ups and downs and that's why i'm saying this to you all, okay but so if you got problems like that you need to go to the doctor and welcome to my channel you guys i appreciate you and sorry i went on about that but somebody else needed to hear that today that's why i mentioned it all right so uh i welcome you and i love you and i hope i can give you a message today because you know that's that's what i'm here for is to help people you're getting ready to receive a message of concern okay virgo or you know you or your person whoever is watching this video you're getting ready to receive a message of concern maybe it's a a letter Uh, well, it's going to be about a gift. This message is going to be about a gift that is owed to you, okay, Virgo? And this energy came out for me a while ago in a read in Aquarius, that uh, message and gift also. What else? What else? Oh, you're going to receive a gift. Uh, uh, it could be a child. This message could be about a gifted child, okay, or the... It could just be a message about how you're gifted. You got a lot of gifts, and uh, you, you're somebody that does things like the trust of a child. That's what it's saying to me, okay? Maybe you're going after your goals and dreams, and if you go practice like this, you got to do things like a child, you know what? Oh, but somebody is going to be in despair. So maybe you got a child, an uh, older child, and they're in despair at the moment. Like, they just feel down and out and shit out of luck or something at their house. Okay. Uh, at your place of residence, at their place of residence. It's something about... Hang on. What, what, whose sign is this spirit? Oh, this is about uh, somebody changing. Maybe you had to change houses. Or maybe this son of yours, since it's a man on this card, maybe if you've got an older son or sons like I do since child come out, they're in despair because they changed, they changed jobs. They change jobs and they might think uh, that they're losing their house or something, maybe. Okay, you guys? That's that's how I'm reading it. So I'm trying to help you all. Just, just go with it. Oh, and the moon. This is Pisces energy. Uh, so um, maybe this son, this child of yours... Um, they, they always got to defend their self. And, it, you, you know, and your sons, if you're listening to me, you just need to accept things as they are. We're all going to go through ups and downs in our lives. And, and, but you need to let your feelings tell you how to do things, son, okay? And don't be in despair. Any, any younger people that's listening to me, that's what you need to do. And, and let your feelings, if you don't speak your feelings, honey, Whoever's listening to me, if y'all don't speak your feelings, it's going to cause a big, huge blow-up reaction. Do you understand? If you don't tell your emotions and feelings, hell, it'll all blow up one day. What? Whose sign is this, Spirit? Oh, it could be your son as a Leo. Oh, do you, if you got a Leo son, it could be them that's um, in despair, but... All this is saying is um, maybe your son doesn't like that you're becoming a leader in society. Maybe now they're, they're, they're realizing that you are a leader, though, and that you're demonstrating that you are, and this is about your creations, and you gaining respect from these people. And, and you're somebody that knows how to bring 
things to life and to light. You, you're somebody that can bring your feelings out to the world, and sometimes it might hurt your your kids' feelings. And your and your kids got to understand, honey. Don't don't worry on things that's happened to me in my past. That's why I'm able to talk about it. it doesn't mean to let it bother you. Okay, don't let it bother you all. Um, I'm not trying to hurt anybody, you know. Uh, I love my family, and I've always been for my family. But I can tell you things that's happened in my marriage. Yes, I can. And things that's happened to me and my family, I can talk about that, okay? And nobody nobody can say anything about it, you all. If you're worried about, like, oh, God, don't worry about what people, places, and things say. Don't worry about it. Oh, we got Venus right here. This is about attraction. Oh, this is about things that makes you feel pleasure, okay? This is about good times. This is about good times with your children. This is about good times. That's the gift. You're going to have some good times with your kids. Oh, I love you. That's all it is. Your kid ain't the spire. It's, your, it's whoever this old man is. So don't worry about it. Scratch what I said earlier. They ain't in the spire, but somebody is around your energy, okay, Virgo? Somebody is. But this is about, you know, you need to have good times with your kids and cherish and enjoy them because, you know, we need to learn how to do that. Uh, this is about charm, art, and beauty, you know, is the way to do things. Do things as a child, like I said earlier. Do it as the love and innocence of a child, and you can get anything done, all right? Uh, what else? What else, Spirit? Oh, my male, it's the karmic, it's the karmic man. So, I mean, so Virgo, uh, if you're a Virgo woman, this is about a karmic male is in despair. And if you're a Virgo man, there is a karmic male around, okay? And they might be sneaking around your house, since house is right up our, uh, what, what are they sneaking around the house? Oh, that fell in my lap. Oh, yeah, Pisces come out. Um, this is about your spirituality and, you know, experiencing it. Your, your trust in your psychic knowledge. And this is uh, resulting from the indecision, from indecision in your past. Maybe, maybe um, you got past issues with this karmic male, okay? And this is about your dreams and your ideals, okay? And, and you know that you're a part of something overwhelming. And that's why this man up here is in despair. And it could be a Virgo in despair. Um, it could be a Virgo is uh, the karmic, you know? It's just depending on whoever's watching this video. In your situation, y'all got to take it like that, but... This is about your need to explain some information. Change and explain this information. You need to keep communicating it the correct way because it's bothering somebody. That's why they can't get out of their damn head. Uh, I guess they think they're going to be left destitute without nothing, I guess. <laughs> but this is uh, fluctuations in your mind maybe one day you want to change and one day you don't want to change and that's what and this is uh what you want to be known you need to talk about what you want to be known and what you believe and do the quickest way to talk about this and uh, maybe maybe if you're doing a practice like me they think that you're getting ready to to uh, leave and go towards someone else. I mean, it could be, but, or maybe this is somebody that you worked with too, since it says toil and labor. But you're balanced. You're balanced in your work. Toil and labor, you're balanced in your work, uh, you know, and maybe somebody thought that you just should work in a factory the rest of your life and not prosper any, and, you know, or work in a restaurant till you die, or clean houses till you die, or, you know, just. You changed from doing that shit. That's why you're balancing. You cooperate. You know how to cooperate with your partner. And, you know, you know how to do things fairly. And in all your relationships. And this is about you getting a fair deal in your toil and labor. Oh, ain't that something, Virgo? So you're going to get a fair deal in this. 
this new venture you're doing. So don't you worry, honey. You're going to get it out there. And I love you, Virgos. And I appreciate you because y'all have subscribed to my channel. And I, and I appreciate you. And I love you. And I'm going to use this Hermetic Tarot. And uh, it, tells a, it tells a good story. And I like it. It's different. It's different. Oh, and in here we're talking about the hanged man, and you know, and it's in the up, in the upside down position. Maybe you're somebody that wears an onk. But uh, this is about this is about somebody around is a false prophet. Uh, they this is about failure to give of oneself. So maybe. Maybe there's a Virgo around that's a false prophet, and they they lack sacrifice, you know. And I and I did sacrifice myself. I can tell y'all all the things and all the failures I've had to endure. And um, let's see what else it says. Oh, death. So death. Um, maybe there's a false prophet around Virgo or around your person if they do a practice like me and uh and they don't they don't like how your person does things this is about transformation death destruction so maybe uh you went through a uh transformation you know uh this is like resetting your body uh to be doing good things and not wrong, but this is an ending. So maybe you self-sacrificed yourself and maybe you're going through an ending, like total ending, a uh, divorce or change of job or something like that universe, and it's upside down. But whoever this is, they, they, they fail to complete their task. This is about imperfection. Uh, this is the universe upside down, and... Uh, So, uh, this person can't complete their task, Virgo. They're failing to complete them. And then we got two of wands. This is about, you know, you, your strength and somebody might have dominion over your life. They think this is about harmony of rule, justice, courage, and this person has, sh uh, they, they want revenge. Whoever this man, this karmic man is that's in despair, they want revenge. That's what that two of wands means. The fucker wants to mend. Uh, they want uh, revenge and they want total dominion. This, this is the lord of dominion. They want total dominion over your life. And you failed it. And you knew it. And you knew it. And, you know, in a Virgo is all about perfection. A lot of them are. I mean, I'm not talking about look right here perfection that's what the hell it is i mean that's virgos i mean they if, if you read and study up on virgos like i did before i ever picked up any of these down cars they they they're all about perfection if you don't do things the way they like they get pissed now and i'm talking about men i don't know about the women i'm talking about men okay so don't get mad at me if you're a virgo woman i'm just telling you about the men but this is about your, your you you needing the strength and courage to stand up and go after what you want because this is a shameless person, this son of a bitch up here. And you're you're a queen of cups. You're somebody that's loving and kind, intuitive and protective, you know. But you could be, co uh, you know, coquettish, like a little cocky sometimes. Maybe you know a a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's uh, cocky, Virgo. But that doesn't have to be their sign. But but this is about your imagination also. <clears throat> and then we got six of cups upside down. And this is a um, strife arising from unwarranted self-assertion and vanity. Somebody, this queen of cups is presumptuous and... Uh, vain and you're somebody that is thankful for everything that you have you know and uh, 
they need to get with the program. Whoever is Queen of Cups is around you. She needs the whoever that you love. She needs to get with the program. That's the truth. What I just told you, you know. And that's this Ace of Wands. This is about somebody's going to take force. This is about you taking force and going after what you want, or your person need to. This is about you using the strength that's down inside of you, you know. This is about you, uh, your vigor. You're somebody who's got a lot of energy, and, and, you know, this is about you gaining the power and the strength to go after what you want and what you believe, okay? So, there's a... There's a lack of sacrifice. There's a false prophet around that that might be getting ready to die. She's want he or she's wanting total destruction. They want total ruin. That's what it is. And this could be someone wishing this on uh, your practice. Like if you do a practice like me, this could be someone wishing this total destruction on you know your practice. And, but whoever this person is, they, they failed to complete their task, you know, and you're somebody that knows how to complete task, and you're somebody that's very courageous, and, and you can talk and tell about things that's happened to you in your life. And uh, you got a lot of strength, and this Queen of Cups, um, she uh, is uh, somebody that's real cocky. She's cocky, a cockhead, if you want to ask me. That's what she is. She's cocky, and, and she's vain. She, she's, it's all about vanity and, and, and presumptuousness, and, and she's wanting to cause strife in your life. She's wanting to cause strife in your creative life, in your creative dreams and endeavors. That's all it means. And I guess you figured this out. And then, oh, and look, two of cups is on the bottom. She's wanting to do this to your spiritual partnership, too, yeah. This is the Lord of love, and this is about your harmony and pleasure and your love and this could be uh, a friendship with a person and and uh, and whoever is Queen of Cups is she don't like it she don't like it well what about that and can we have one of my cards for Virgo what else does Virgo somebody's wicked ways are catching up to them now they didn't know that you would figure out who was actually doing the manipulation and word trickery so you're figuring out who this uh, person is virgo that's doing all the damn manipulation okay what else does virgo need to know today well, i mean and if you're dealing with a virgo i mean it could be them you know what i'm saying you just gotta fit the story how it is what else for a virgo and this person that manipulates um, oh, you put it in divine's hands. Ooh, and it says when divine order is called, that's when you put it in the plan of the divine. And if people think they can stop the plan, no, they can't. So don't worry about it. So, so you put it in divine's hands, this wicked person. And good for you. Good for you. Good for whoever you are. That's, that's I'm, I'm proud of you. Oh, and sibling rivalry. So. So maybe uh, this person that manipulates you is a sibling of yours, and uh, they don't like how you do things. But, you know, you're teaching about divine order, and they didn't know nothing about it until you started teaching them. So, And look, and then mom and dad come out. So your mom and dad and your siblings wishes that uh, you wasn't in the picture anymore. Because they think that you make marriage look easy and they don't like you. So I don't know who this is for you all, but that's what it come out with it. And look, and you're somebody who's psychic, you know. Uh, your third eye's opening. And psychic people can pick up on your energy and sense your true intentions. You done, you done sense that this man was working with your damn siblings and your mom and dad. Now look, you sensed it. Yeah, you did, and it could have been a Virgo man did this to you, okay? 1919. So, uh, so you figured out that they were all against you, and they was all trying to fucking manipulate you and your words. They was trying to make it look like you're the stupid son of a bitch, and you're not. You're very smart. You're very smart, okay? You're very smart. Look, look. Oh, wow. And they got an ant. They got an ant involved, too. So you sense that this ant or ant figure... 
they was in it too. And look, like I just said, uh, you're a person that has your third eye open. You have visions during your meditations, and you can focus and manifest your dreams into reality. I've had visions in the daytime, you all. I had a vision. Just I had a vision that my brother and my stepson that passed away, both of them, my dog was really sick, and I took her to the vet, and I did a reading about it, and I cried about it. But it was a long time ago in one of my readings. I don't know. It was way back in March or April. And I talked about it, and I was talking about psychic. Something that video was like, this is how you know if you're a real psychic. I believe it was in that video. So you all can go watch it if you want to about that. But my brother and my stepson, I seen that my dog, my, my, my stepson said she'll be all, or my brother said she'll be all right, Pam. And then, or my stepson said it, and my brother smiled, or my stepson, one of them, you'll just have to watch that video, I can't really remember, but my dog was all right when I went in there, and she's dead, she's totally dead for 40 some minutes, and yeah, and, and then we'll talk about it, and not everybody believes it, but I tell you right now, you better believe it, because it was true, the damn dog was still, the dog was still, no, that's how you know you got some good damn uh, healing hands, and I don't care if people believe it or not, and you're so that smart, and I'm telling you right now, they're down and determined to mess with your life. Okay? These people are down and determined to mess with your life. Whoever's listening to me. So it looks like your whole family's against you. And if they are, well, ain't that something. But I'll tell you right now. Whenever, uh, whenever you make uh, this your career, like whatever your career you're going after, and you, you succeed in it, don't worry because... Uh, They'll be wishing that they'd have been for you then, okay? And look, here's what here's what I am, true prophet, okay? This is what I am. I'm a psychic true prophet. I'm not a cheat. I'm not a cheat, and you can't say that I am because I'm not. All righty, now, what else is something that we need to tell to this Virgo today, these Virgos? What do Virgos do, or what do we need to know about Virgo spirit? And we appreciate you very much. And these people can't get to you, Virgos. These siblings and this mom and dad and your aunt, and they can't get to you, okay? Don't let them get to you. Because when you let them get to you, that's when uh, they'll win. So don't let it bother you. If it, don't, don't let it act like, just act like it don't bother you, because... That'll kill them worse than anything. Are you listening? Don't don't let it act like it even bothers you. What do you want to tell, Spirit? What else for Virgo? Sorry, y'all. i got to lick my finger and get these papers off uh, out of here. I'm sorry, but I do. Because it's like, it's like them old regular O index cards. That's why it's hard to get out. Get them out of here. I can't have 28. Hang on, you guys. I love my spirit team that's with me. I love you guys. And I appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. Now let's see what's come out for you guys, okay? Because there's quite a few right here, and I'm not going to make this reading 30. I'm going to hurry up and read them, you all, and see what it says. So this could apply to you now or in the future, okay? Because energy is fluid, all right? And it says, y'all spell work doesn't work too well. So, this person will send a magic towards you and your family. And fairies, spirit. Fairies. They also spent, sent fairies towards you. And it was funny as hell when they had your name in their mouth. And now it ain't too funny anymore since they're the ice end of the jokes now. <laughs> ain't that funny? Oh, and it said, this person looks like a damn demon. 
And when the mask comes off, you always sense this devil's energy. Yeah, because you're a true prophet. You know, and you sense it, and you've seen it. Look how much you sensed and seen it. Look, look at this. Look how much. I mean, how much more clear do you need? You're, you're good. You, you done knew. It says, I've never seen such a hypocritical, lying-ass person in my life. Oh. So this person's a hypocrite, and facts are facts. Spirit said, you better go now. Spirit said, better go now, true prophet. Psychic clairvoyant. Someone needs to uh, clean their house and, and don't get stuck in the past out here. And you're somebody that's forever young in mind, body, and spirit. And it says... I can watch that ass walk out of the room 24-7. It's nice. So somebody likes your butt out there, Virgo. Ooh. <laughs> it said, I truly wanted you to stay. True prophet. They truly wanted you to stay. And it says, Asherah. And this is whom the book of Kings suggests was worshipped alongside Yahweh in his temple in Israel. In Israel. So this was uh, Yahweh's um, woman. Asherah, but they took her out of the books, I think. But anyway, uh, it says this pussy ass man can only beat on women, and why can't you go whoop up on a man? Because you know that your ass will get knocked out. So this person likes to whoop on their women, or that's old energy. Could be now energy, I don't know. It's just for whoever's listening to me, it might have went on now or long ago but you can talk about it and you're all right with it you know you're, you're good with it either way it says the divine masculine you are really starting to make me question what what i should do next somebody was trying to psychic manipulation look manipulation and it done said that earlier remember word trickery manipulation see this person you can't outsmart a psychic person you can't it says marvelous will be the transformation wrought in him who by faith opens the door of the heart to the Savior. Did you hear that? And suspicious minds actually needs to do the work and find out for themselves the truth. That's right. If this person's so suspicious, they need a lot they need to do a lot of healing on their insides and find the truth. And it says you need to acknowledge and identify why this connection happened and, and tell about it. And, you know, write down why this connection happened. Hard work really pays off. Didn't I tell you and that come out twice so my readings are connected. Don't care what anybody says. Went through all of them and you all seen. So I love y'all and that's why I need to help and we can run the world together, baby. Look here, Virgos. We can run the world together, baby. It says, I know I can't meet you until I let my past person go. So somebody needs to let go of their past person. And it says, people see you with high self-esteem because your gifts help many different people and your soul is joyous. See, gifts come out in ours. That's your gift to give to people. You got American Indian lineage. Oh, wow, Virgo. And somebody's boss comes up and does some sexual harassment. And somebody is nervous of that outcome because I guess they know they might have to go to court since they never, they might not ever even apologize for you. Spirit told you, you better go now, American Indian. Hard work pays off. And you all let go of a pipes person. And somebody wants you to truly stay. And divine mask one, you're questioning what you should do next. And you got high self-esteem. And you can run the world together. You need to acknowledge this connection, Virgos. Facts are facts. They were psychically manipulating you. And it was funny to these people. And you're teaching people about these archangels and things in the Bible that maybe they didn't know. And fairies, they can't send them to us. And suspicious minds, do the work on the inside and clean out your house, people. And spells doesn't work on chosen ones. And somebody thinks your butt is nice. And, and this person looks like a demon. And you're somebody that looks forever young because you're a true prophet. You're psychic. Psychic, that's why. Well, I hope this helped you guys today. I appreciate you and love all y'all for y'all's help. And I, you don't know how greatly appreciative 29 29 11 11 twin flame. I love you. Peace. Uh, y'all don't know how much I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I just hope I can be a little bit of 
more support and help to y'all. And I love you. And I'll see you back here in a little bit. Peace.